Hi, Hannah. Hey, Brent. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, uh, no pressure, but I understand you're gonna keep us in stitches today. Yes, very much so today. What do we have here? So we have some embroidery samplers from our permanent collection. What are we sampling? So we are sampling uh, embroidery stitches. These would have been done by young girls in the 1700s, 1800s. So this is their way to practice those skills that they'll use into adulthood. How old are these girls when they do this? So they could be anywhere from six to 16, at least for the samplers that we have in our collection. 1834, what do we know about the Mary Ann Edmondson? Yes, so we know that Mary Ann Edmondson was 10 when she made this, because we know she was born in 1824, and this is from 1834. And we know that this was done in Dayton, Ohio, at the Waynesville School. Is this something they're learning from their mom, or is there a formal education where they're learning this? So it honestly depends. So some girls may be learning from an older relative, but lots of girls are going to be taking formal classes or going to a school where this is part of the curriculum. What were these schools like? What do we know about the school from this kind of work? So we know in the case of Mary Ann that the school where she took this class, she was being trained in both plain and ornamental sewing. So we know that they had a fairly rigorous curriculum in terms of sewing at mm -hmm. least. Mm -hmm. And did I understand that when a suitor came calling, this would actually show off their skills? Yes, yeah, you can think of this like a resume almost. So obviously there are lots of things that go into a successful marriage proposal, but these girls would use these samplers as a way to show off their skills. If it includes a Bible verse, it helps to show off their virtue. So it's all kinds of things that the suitor might want to know about them. Well, this is beautiful. Now you have another piece or two you want to show us? Absolutely, yes. I'll be pulling a couple more from another case down here. So we have a couple in here mm -hmm. that we can talk about. Yeah, let's see what you have. All right, so we can start with the one over here. That on looks the like it's the side. oldest, maybe. It's one of our older ones, yeah. So this one is from probably around 1800, 1825 at the latest. Mm -hmm. And this one was actually not made in Ohio. This one, we believe, was actually made in Wales. And uh, how much has this faded over the years? Do we know, would this been much more vibrant and colorful 200 years ago? So it likely would have been, yes. So textiles are one of the most vulnerable to light damage of uh, historic objects. And so in the case of these, probably the fabric in the back has become discolored and some of the colors of the threads may have faded. Though of course there's a lot of variation depending on the kind of thread and the color. What's the next one you want to point out? So the next one is this one here in the center. This was done by a girl named Mary S. Waters when she was eight years old in 1822. Did she live in Ohio? She did live in Ohio as a married woman. So this was actually made when she was in Pittsburgh. She attended a seminary school there that was for just women and she learned how to sew there and made this as a student there again in 1822. What's the term? Is this embroidery? Is this cross stitch? Is it crocheting? What is this? So this is going to be embroidery and sometimes they're using a cross stitch, but they're going to be using a variety of stitches. So it's not crocheting, but it is embroidery and it's sometimes cross stitch. And of course people still do this. Yes, absolutely. We get a lot of people in who really want to see these because they still do samplers and they still use these techniques. Were they starting from a pattern like people do today? Most likely, yes. So we have evidence on some of the samplers of pencil marks where they would have been drawing out the pattern beforehand. And if they're receiving formal education and how to do it, they likely are following some sort of pattern. Well, these are beautiful and impressive. Thank you for sharing them with us. Absolutely. Absolutely.